Hey, subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to ring that bell. Because today is an important day to get this video. Because today I'm sharing with you my top three dips you got to bring to every party. Dips are wonderful. And just as a bonus, hey, they're vegan. Outstanding. Let's get cooking. Hey, I chose these three dips because each one, each one has a special um, pairing with it. And the first one is your basic onion dip. Hey, not your basic onion dip. Each one of these dips have been like transformed to be very special. So this is kind of an onion, herb, vegan dip. Goes very well with chips. What chips? Hey, any chips. Just buy a bag of chips and start dipping. It's pretty special. Okay, I'm starting with tofu. This is not uh, silken tofu. Silken tofu is very soft. I find that if it's silken tofu, it's too soft and watery. So I'm using just firm tofu. Not extra firm, just firm. Right into a food processor. I'm going to add about a tablespoon and a half of lemon juice. Hey, you can use the juice of one lemon fresh, that's fine. Or just a tablespoon and a half of lemon juice. A tablespoon of cider vinegar. Hey, this is Bragg cider vinegar. Very good stuff. Has nice flavor. And all the ingredients are listed in the description below. So you can scroll down and get all the ingredients. A list of all the ingredients. I'm going to need two cloves of garlic. And what I did here is just slice them up. It just helps when I process it to make it smooth. I add a half teaspoon salt. Hey, just to make it taste like something. All these herbs here, and I have a half a cup of each, scallions, dill, parsley, cilantro, wonderful. Hey, I know what you're going to ask. Can I use dry herbs? Absolutely not. It's a big difference. Also, this is going to be a green kind of dressing. So I want it to be a little different. I need it to have fresh herbs. Give that fresh aroma and taste. Wonderful. Let's process this. Hey, this is another reason why I like to use firm tofu and not silken tofu. I can control how thick this dip is going to be. It's a little way too thick. So right now it's way too thick, almost pebbly. No good. I need it to be smooth. So I do, I add a little bit of almond milk or oat milk or uh, any kind of non-dairy milk just to get it to the right thickness. I can smell the fresh herbs already. Wonderful stuff. I'm going to use just a couple of tablespoons almond milk to start with. Hey, don't forget, you have to taste it. It's got great flavor. You know what it needs? Another half a teaspoon of salt. And a good a quarter of a teaspoon or so of black pepper. Hey, every time you change, you got to taste it again. But make sure you use a clean spoon every time. Or else, you know, you're going to be double dipping. Not very good. Mmm. Okay, so that's really good. Very herbal, very nice, but needs more onion flavor. How are we going to do that? I have here half a cup of very finely chopped red onion. You can do this a couple of ways. If you're good with a knife, you can chop it yourself, or you can put it on a grater, or you can put it in a, in a chopper. Just going to mix this in with the dip. Okay, last taste. Mm. 
Mmm. Very good. Okay. Hey, that's awesome. And this is awesome with chips. Any kind of chip. It's your basic onion dip. But kicked up a little bit because it got all those fresh herbs in it. People are going to like it. They're going to eat it. They're going to say, hey, what's that outstanding flavor in there? It's an herbal dip. Like a nice onion dip. Okay. Okay, so my next dip is an awesome honey mustard dip. This dip is for all your like savory appetizers. Mini egg rolls, awesome. Dumplings, Chinese dumplings, awesome. Um, samos, samosas, Indian samosas, also pretty good. Uh, anything like chicken fingers. I got this vegan chicken nuggets I use sometimes. Awesome. This is really outstanding. And it's not, it's not a honey mustard. It's like kicked up honey mustard. I love that about this. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're starting with a cup and a half of apricot jam. Wonderful. Now, it doesn't have to be the most expensive apricot jam because you're adding a lot of stuff to it. So I'm not worried about it being, um, you know, the very exclusive brand. I got a store brand here. That's yeah, absolutely fine. Hey, don't forget, there's a list of ingredients down at the description. Just scroll down for that. Awesome. Trying to make life easy for you. All right. We need about a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. We're using that Bragg's apple cider vinegar. Quarter cup. Two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. Now this is not the vegan variety of Worcestershire sauce. It's almost vegan. It's all right, it's a very little bit of uh, anchovies in there. So it's not vegan, but it is almost vegan. Uh, if you can't find a vegan variety, you can use soy sauce, you can use liquid aminos, uh, that's fine too. Um, or you can find a vegan variety, or you can just use this and be almost vegan. Your choice, whatever you decide, is fine with me. And we're doing two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. Hey, two cloves of garlic. And once again, I just sliced them up so they can chop up easy when I um, process this. A teaspoon of ginger root, okay? I buy that already um, processed. Just a pinch of red pepper flakes. Now if you want this a little more spicy, use a little more red pepper flakes. If you want less spicy, use less red pepper flakes. Choice is yours. Hey, you don't want it spicy at all? Just leave the red pepper flakes out. That's okay too. Now I want to process this. I'm going to process this till it's pretty smooth. Gotta taste it. That's awesome, but you need to add one more ingredient. Hey, maybe the most important ingredient. You know what that is? Mustard! Whole grain mustard. I want to show the mustard in there. And I want to use a good mustard because um, it's going to be very prevalent in this uh, dip. Hey, prevalent. It's a big word. Okay. We're going to use a half a cup of mustard. And I don't want to crush it. I want to just blend it. I want to see those whole mustard seeds. So. Hey, you can see those nice whole mustard seeds. Wonderful. Mmm. That's really good. It's sweet and it has that little kick. Delicious. Okay. It'll be very good on, a, on an egg roll, I gotta tell you. I don't have any egg rolls in my freezer. But if I did, I would cook some up right now in my air fryer and have a snack. Wonderful. And don't forget, that's wonderful for like vegan chicken wings or vegan chicken nuggets, egg rolls, or fried wontons. Ooh, awesome. Anything like that, anything that's savory, like an appetizer-ish. Wonderful. Anything you use honey mustard for? My third dip is um, curry dip. Very interesting dip. Very nice dip. And used for fresh vegetables. A very popular um, appetizer is just, hey, cut up some fresh vegetables. Broccoli, cauliflower, red peppers, carrots, celery. 
put in a little uh, platter and put some dip in the middle and let people enjoy it. It's healthy. So the vegetables are healthy. I have to make a dip that kind of matches that healthiness of the vegetables. And this is it. Maybe my favorite dip. Absolutely wonderful. It's got a little Indian flavor to it. Really nice. Okay. I started with a cup and a half of cashews. And what I did was soak them in hot water for about an hour. Hey, you can do it overnight in the refrigerator. That's fine. Just soak it. Cover it with water and soak it. You want to do it overnight in the refrigerator, that's easy. Just put it in there the day before, the night before, and uh, leave it alone, and the next day it's all set. you got to drain the water out, or else your dip is going to be very watery. You may add a little bit of almond milk later if the dip is too thick, but right now, drain the water out, and then use just the cashews. Okay, soaking the cashews in the hot water makes it a little bit softer and easier to puree. About a tablespoon and a half of lemon juice, or... The juice of one lemon. Either way you want to go is fine. Coconut cream. And here's how I work with this. I take all the ingredients of the a can of coconut cream out and put it in a container. Then I can take a small whisk and break it up. You see there's chunks of coconut fat and then there's like a thick liquid in there. I can take my whisk it doesn't have to be totally smooth just pretty smooth okay it's good good enough if you have a real problem with it put it in your microwave for you know maybe 30 seconds just to get it warm then the, then the cream inside will kind of loosen up. Then you can whip it together. You need a half a cup of coconut cream. Ooh, look at that. That's wonderful. Tablespoon of vinegar. And for this, I just need that tartness. So I'm using just a regular white vinegar. One tablespoon. A teaspoon of salt. I want to process this smooth. If you haven't figured out by now, this is a recipe for vegan cream cheese. Alright, that's pretty smooth. Good. Then we have to add a half a cup of sweet mango chutney. just it's sweet patak sweet mango chutney hey any kind of sweet mango chutney will do major gray's chutney is also good you're gonna need about half a cup Ooh, this is good then i'm putting in one teaspoon of curry powder Okay, so this is basically a curry dip, but with that um, mango chutney in it, oh, it's delicious. You can cheat a little bit if you want and just buy vegan cream cheese. Add your mango chutney, add a little bit of curry to it, and whip it up and you got it. But I like to make my own. Wonderful. Of course, you have to taste it. Mmm. Sweet. Tart. The curry flavor is wonderful. You got that mango in there, whew, and the cream cheese texture, mmm, wonderful. Okay, so, okay, so just to recap, we got the onion dip with the herbs inside, awesome for chips. We have the honey mustard dip, that's awesome for any kind of savory hot appetizer like egg rolls, wontons, uh, chicken fingers, whatever you want, even wings is good for, okay, wonderful, and then... We have this curry dip, awesome for vegetables, like a crudite, wonderful, raw broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, dip it in, eat it, it's fantastic. If you want to have a very good uh, egg roll recipe, it's on a video, the link is down below, and don't forget all the ingredients listed down below, wonderful. Now for um, 
a little bit of a seriousness here. You know, I go to parties all the time because everyone wants to invite a chef to their parties. I don't know why, just works out that way. But, you know, I never know what to eat there because I try to eat a little healthy. It doesn't always work out because these parties, boy, they have some fantastic food. But it's usually like fried stuff and stuff I wouldn't eat. So if I bring my own dip or dips, maybe a nice dish of crudite, raw, raw vegetables with the, with the uh, curry dip, it's pretty healthy. And I can eat that, eat a big bowl of that, and be satisfied and have a few drinks, of course. A few adult beverages, very nice. But I don't have to eat all the foods I don't want to eat. I can kind of bring my own, but at the same time, I'm just bringing a food to a party. So it doesn't look like, hey, I'm bringing my own food, leave me alone. Uh, and that's, that's a great thing to do. This way you can have fun. Eat what you want to eat, eat what you feel you must eat, and leave the rest alone, and that's it. Uh, I'll catch you next time. Hey, check out that egg roll video. It's wonderful. See you there.